Hi guys, my name is Johan from Restoration.bike and in this video I'm going to explain how to install a Dior XT shark fin chain deflector from 1989. If you like the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I also have a Facebook group for like-minded people who are into bike restorations. You're welcome to join that group with the help of the link in the description below. The shark fin is an elongated piece of plastic used to protect the chain stay. Near the front derailleur, it ends in something resembling a shark fin, hence the name. And this shark fin has a curve, which means it also prevents the chain from ever getting caught between the tire and chain stay. Besides the chain deflector itself, it also ships with an adhesive strip and two cable ties. Since this piece of equipment is from 1989, the adhesive turned out to be crap and wouldn't do anything on my square chain stays. I bought it new for 20 euros and 95 cents at a local web shop specializing in retro cycling hardware. This isn't exactly cheap for a little piece of plastic, but they are not that easy to find nowadays. The first thing I did was to apply the adhesive to the DOR XT shark fin and the adhesive fits near perfect so this is easier said than done. I carefully placed the adhesive in the correct position before applying pressure and once in place it will be impossible to adjust it in any way. Obviously it's adhesive on both sides and getting the paper off proved to be extremely difficult and you can see the paper got torn before I was able to remove it. In fact, it was so difficult that at first I even doubted if it was sticky on both sides instead of dealing with some sort of decal. And in the end, I used a surgeon knife to peel off the other side. According to the manual, the tip of the shark fin needs to be positioned about two to five millimeters away from the chain when it's in the lowest gear. And the tip also needs to be aligned roughly with the rim. What you'll find is that when you try to put the shark fin in the correct place, the adhesive does very little to actually keep it there. And that's where the two cable ties come in, which do a much better job. The shark fin is also a straight piece of plastic, whereas the chain stay on my Koha Miata Skyrim and Carbolite wasn't. Also, the fact that the chain stay was less round meant all in all the shark fin just didn't really fit and wouldn't be kept in place even if the adhesive did do its job. I have to admit that the core reason I bought this piece of vintage hardware was to add a period correct piece of equipment that had the name Dior XT on it. The Koha Miata Skyrunner Carbolite has Dior XT all over it, so it really seemed like a nice little addition. That being said, the shark fin does exactly what it's supposed to do. It's, it not only protects your chainstay, but also actually moves the chain away from the chainstay. And this means it greatly reduces that classic chain slap noise, no matter how rough your ride gets. So it does its job and it does it with verve. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and don't forget to consider joining the Facebook group I hope I can welcome you again for the next video as well. Bye for now.